Hey everyone, Crystal Gamer here with a new Furnish video. This is for Simarki's latest challenge. Apparently she's doing these weekly now because the woman is trying to kill me. I really love the stuff she puts out, so I always want to do it, and time is always an issue. But nonetheless, this video is a combination furnish, tour, story sort of-ish thing, and I'm going to do that all in 14 minutes or less. Yeah, we're going to see how this goes. But in any case, the reason that I'm doing this is because I, I love the house and I created a couple of Sims to do some screenshots and I ended up with a story for them. So that said, please meet Xander and Simone Diamond, AKA the Diamond Duo. These two are singer music musicians that live in a small desert town called Oasis Springs that's just outside of the Las Vegas Strip. And right now they work some small bars and, and things like that that are off the strip. And they just got married and everything. They just bought this new house. And they're doing pretty well for themselves as musicians. They are doing pretty well for themselves, but they're still, you know, the objective is always to, to make it big and whatnot. So they're still playing off of the Vegas Strip. They're hoping one day to end up playing on the Vegas Strip, but they're young. They still have to practice yet. So that's our couple and I ended up trying to do some screenshots for the video and, and some things happened. So because of that, I ended up with a little story. We basically have a day in the life of Xander and Simone is basically what we end up with. And, and that's more towards the end of the video. First, we go through a little undo, redo, furnish thing because there's nothing really complex here as far as from a building perspective. So I thought the undo, redo method would be good, save us a lot of time and just you know show the the furnish but the only quote-unquote building i did was put a clear roof over the jacuzzi just because i love looking at the stars when i'm in a jacuzzi at night and so i didn't want to roof it up completely but i figured you know you don't want the rain and stuff getting in there so i thought the glass roofing was perfect for that and this home is in the desert and i know some people may be like you know why do you have a hot tub in the desert well i've lived in the desert and when you live in the desert you know it's unbearably hot during the day although very dry very dry people will tell you oh it's a dry heat it's dry it truly is it is absolutely a dry heat and you can tolerate temperatures 100 105 a heck of a lot more than you can like that's equivalent or maybe even easier to deal with than 85 in a high humidity, high humidity environment. Except for maybe some people that really love humidity, I don't know. But nonetheless, point being, I've lived in the desert and it's exceptionally hot during the day, but in the evening it, it cools down dramatically. Especially in the winter months, it cools down dramatically in the evening. So, you know, you it's not unheard of to end up in the 50s or 60s, so you can totally totally do a hot tub in the desert at night for sure absolutely so for those of you that are questioning a hot tub in the desert it actually does work and i even included a fireplace here because xander and simone want to save money or whoever built this house wanted to save money and so xander and simone are using it for that reason with the fireplace they pretty much have no need to ever turn on their heat e even in the winter months because it doesn't get that cold. So the fireplace is enough to, to take the edge off, take the chill off, and they're good. They, they barely need their thermostat at all for heat. Though I did include a thermostat because we now have seasons. Very exciting. And there are some elements from seasons in this as well. Um, not a ton, not a ton, but I definitely use some, some of the stuff from the pack. I actually think that the, the living room furniture may be from seasons. I'm trying to remember now. I don't I, I don't have firm knowledge of the pack yet. You know what'll get me firm knowledge though? If I do a challenge on it. And at some point I will. I won't I, we won't challenge seasons yet because there'll still be a lot of people that don't have it. You know, probably better off to do the older packs first so that more people have the packs, but I'll be putting that stuff out to vote on Twitter so Twitter followers can decide that stuff for me. But yeah, so we go through the, the little furnish on this and oh, I end up loving this so much. I go with a lot of blues on the interior because we are in the desert and I sort of wanted to contrast the exterior a little bit and make the inside feel a little bit cool. You know, blue feels a lot more cool than it, oranges and reds and, and things like that. So I wanted the inside of the house to feel a little bit more cool. And so yeah, I do end up with a lot of blue tones inside. 
Now on Simarki's challenge, we cannot remove things like we can't, we can't get rid of walls or anything like that, but we can add things and change doors if we like. And so I did make a couple of changes. I created a room on the side that's a sunroom. I added some windows and I made that little sunroom area. And so that, and I changed out the, the door in that to a glass door. So that was pretty much the only like architectural type additions or changes that I made. Pretty much everything else stayed pretty good. It is a one bedroom. Xander and Simone live in this room here as far as they are, or sleep in this room. And so they have this beautiful view of the backyard with the pool and all of that stuff. And it's just a, a wonderful view. And they are singer musicians and they are trying to make it big. And so the second bedroom they have converted into a music room, a music studio actually. So they record and everything in this room and it's very, very music to out. So that's why this is a musician's home. And I love this, this, this room, the, the music room is a little bit over the top, but I kind of love it. And I use that circle wallpaper. It makes it a little bit busy, but the circles kind of make me think of records. And so that's why I went with the circles for the wallpaper. And I don't know, it's just kind of, to me, it's kind of a cool room. I, I like that, you know, a couple of musicians do up the, the whole thing in, in this big music room. And so now we go into our tour of the property and we can see our before and afters and how much prettier it looks. God, I love this place. I totally love this place. I, I love all my stuff. I'm sorry, you guys have to listen to me gush every time because I love my stuff, but why would I put it out if I didn't love it, right? You know, so fully stocked fish tank with all the beautiful exotic fish. And I did, I used a lot of candles. My idea in mind is that Xander and Simone are actually from up north. They're from, I don't know, northern United States, Canada, something like that. They're from up north. So they grew up someplace where there were a lot of candles and, and fireplaces and things like that. And that's part of the reason that they brought bought this particular home in the desert is they didn't, they wanted to still have a fireplace and they wanted to still be able to do all their candles and things, even though they were in the desert. So that's that's kind of because they're from the north those are the elements that they they sort of miss those cozy elements a little bit but they love the warm climate so and they love the fact that they have an in-ground pool that makes them very happy and the bedroom is the warmest room in the house with some some desert paintings and things like that in the music studio i included some of the awesome lighting that i man i love the the lighting engine on this game my god the creators did such a good job on the lighting engine and i love the sunroom in this game we've got a little a little bar with the sunroom and just a little area to converse and sit down and read and things like that and and yeah the sunroom is just great too and so we get a little tour of the exterior. I did a short tour both day and night of the exterior before, since we just had our, our interior photo tour. And this is before we get into story time. And let's see how well I do with the story, the day in the life of Xander and Simone in this beautiful home. God, I love this. I want to move here. I so want to move to this home. I always want to move to my builds. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I really, really would love to live here. What a gorgeous place. And I didn't mind the desert, except that it wasn't near the coast and I'm kind of used to beach living. But in any case, we have Xander and Simone, day in the life of Xander and Simone, and she gets up before he does, typically, and she does a little yoga routine, not not too much before he does, but uh, or she does a little meditation routine, about 10 minutes of meditation, 10, 15 minutes, then she goes out back, she does her yoga out on the back deck, and while she's doing her yoga out on the back deck, he goes into the sunroom, and he does his sit-ups, and he does his push-ups, and all of that stuff. So they, they both sort of do the, the body get fit thing first thing in the morning when they get up. Then on this particular day, Simone goes and she heads over to the computer while Xander goes outside and he harvests from the plantain tree somehow a, a red fruit, which is a little confusing to me considering that plantains are yellow bananas but that's okay after that he decides to go inside do a little bit of jamming on the guitar and everything she hears him and decides yep it's time to start practicing and so they they get into the music room and they start practicing together for a little while 
And then after a while of practicing, they get hungry. And so Xander decides he's going to grill some hot dogs outside for the two of them. He gets a call right as he finishes the hot dogs. So she ends up eating by herself out on the deck. But I mean, it's a beautiful day, so she's cool with it. By the time he eats, she's already done. So he grabs his hot dog. He's out by the pool and she's already changed in her bathing suit in the pool. And so she calls him over. She's like, hey, honey, come on over. Spend some time in the pool with me. So he sits by the pool, eats and talks with her for a little while and everything. And for the most part, they just kind of enjoy the outside in the pool. They sort of while away the afternoon a little bit. She practices, practices her diving and they just hang out until the afternoon hours come and they lose sunlight at the pool. And then they go back in and start practicing in their music room again because they, they have to practice as much as possible. So they're back in practicing in their music room again. And then after some more practicing, they go out and they head outside for some socializing and they talk for a little while by the pool. They're enjoying their new pool area and they're newlyweds. So they're just having a blast together, just enjoying each other's company and things start to get a little, you know, things start getting a little nice between them. So they decide to go spend a little time in the hot tub together and they get a little close and Xander's looking at her and saying, my God, Simone is looking fun. And so some little kissing starts. And then the next thing you know, we have Whoopi in the hot tub and come to find out making Whoopi in the hot tub or woohoo as Sims call it somehow turns the hot tub into some kind of fountain slash geyser thing, which is new information to me, but I found it fascinating, so I included it. And so after they're done with their woohoo, they hang out in the hot tub for a little while, chat some more, enjoy each other's company under the stars where it's beautiful out, and just kind of in general have a good time. And once they get out of the hot tub, they move over to the chess table and they spend some more time together there. Now she's a better chess player than he is, so he distracts her to cheat. And really it's her beauty that's distracting him. So what choice does he have? After they get done with that, he goes in, he does some more sit-ups in, in the sunroom. Cause you know, he's always working on the body and she, she spends a little time reading while he's working out. And then he moves over to the living room, decides to turn on the basketball game. And while he's doing that, Simone decides that she is going to bake her, her new husband some brownies. She's going to try and impress him with her cooking skills. And so she's, she's going to bake some brownies out of a box. Um, the only problem is she doesn't have much experience cooking, but she gets her batter. She gets it in the stove. Everything appears to be going well, but unfortunately she doesn't have much experience cooking. So, yeah, there ends up being a little bit of a problem. She takes care of it, costs a lot of money in, in repair of stoves and counters and all of that. But, you know, hey, she deals with it and she cleans up the mess. While inexplicably, Xander stands outside looking at the front garden for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So because he doesn't really help her, she gets a little bit annoyed by that. And she says, you know what? I'm not even going to talk to him. I'm just going to take care of my stuff and get ready for bed. And that's it. And so she's kind of miffed at him and, and she just goes to bed and he's like, all right, fine. So, you know, what can you do? He goes to bed too. And, and she just really doesn't want to deal with it right now. So he, he just leaves her be and they spend the evening and go to sleep for the evening. And the next morning they wake up and, you know, because they're newlyweds and she's terribly in love with him, it takes about three seconds for him to sweet talk her. And before long, they're doing all the good newlywed things and they're back behaving all lovey dovey and just like newlyweds should be. And so that is a day in the life of Simone and Xander Diamond, the Diamond Duo. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please do hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel so you can come on back and spend some more time with me. I do appreciate you hanging out today. Thanks so much. Bye for now.